Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Saki from Saki Tech, and in today's video, we have some amazing news. One UI 5.0 beta number three is now officially out on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. We got a beta on the S21 just yesterday, and that already included the beta three improvements we're gonna find on the S22. So let's dive in and look at all the top new features. Some of these features are game changing for customization purposes. So the brand new thing that we do have is when I pinch the screen and if I go to wallpaper and style, you are gonna see we have the browse my wallpapers option here. When you click it, you're gonna get a brand new screen that gives you a whole bunch of different options, but it is crashing on my S22 and it was crashing on the S21. Of course, this is a beta, stuff is gonna crash. But you can see if I tap on browse my wallpapers, I got featured, gallery, graphical, and colors option. Alrighty, let's see uh, if I can do something here so you guys can see exactly what we got here. Browse, go in here, let me do a screenshot real quick. Okay, so that's a screenshot. So the brand new graphical options that we have are these. These are various wallpapers. They're gonna be adding even more, but I'm loving how unboring these are, as opposed to the stock wallpapers uh, on the Samsung. So let's go back here. Let's see if I can look at the uh, colors. So we have all these options, as you can see. It's probably gonna crash in a second. So let me try to do the same thing over here, take a quick screenshot. All right, so we have that screenshot. And let's look at this option. So we have this, this, and this. So we do have a revamped wallpapers uh, screen, which gives you even more options with better organization and new wallpapers. Now I was able to set one of those wallpapers in the background real quick. You can see they are in fact lovely, nice and clean. Now that's number one. That's one of the top features. The other top feature has to do with the lock screen. So with the lock screen, you're now able to customize it uh, in a different way right from the lock screen. All you do is press and hold. It's going to ask you to put your pin or put your fingerprint if your phone has one. And look at this. We get a little breakdown where we can access and modify all the different parts of the screen. So on the top, let's look at the clock first. If I click the clock, we get this beautiful option. I can go in here, pick different clock styles, as you can see. I can even resize these as necessary. And then I can click over here, I can swipe over, pick these various colors. Let me pick this one so you can see the differences. So you can pick these different colors or you can go in here and pick a specific color as you can see. This is great. Now, the other thing that we have, if I go down here, let me see what this is. If I tap on A, everything becomes the same. You get the default, all right? And then you have different colors. That's automatic, by the way. So that's the clock. Let's pick this one. And then what you can do is you can also click on this and change the fonts for the clock. Okay, let's look at all the options. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six options, as you can see. Okay, all nice and cool. And again, it is resizable. So that's that. And then you can see that over here we have our notifications. You can tap this gives you a little pop-up. You can change the transparency of the notifications, all righty. You can pick auto reverse text color if that's what you want, as you can see, all righty, turn on and on. And you can also go for icon only. So I prefer this tiny and clean icons showing me I have some notifications. This one gives you details about each notification. I just like the cleaner look here. So that's one. At the bottom, it says contact information. Some people put their contact information here, like their phone number, in case your phone is lost and there's a good guy that got your phone, they can contact you, which is probably rare. I like to use this as a signature area. For example, I can just put my channel name or even a quote that I like, and it's gonna show up right there, okay? You cannot move these around as of now. Now, let me cancel this. 
And then you can change these two icons here. You have the shortcuts, I mean. You should click on this guy, plus the animation comes up. It's a little bit choppy, that animation. Again, it's a beta, all right? Plus, let's do flashlight. Now I have the flashlight and the calculator, and I can also access wallpapers that might crash. Let's try to add it as soon as possible. Okay, so that crashed, but we're going to go back, and now we have that brand new layout with that beautiful wallpaper, okay? If I press and hold again, I can access to make sure I can modify it. So, powerful new customization option. Now, pinch the screen, go to Wallpapers and Styles, and you can access the same area from here. You click on this guy, and now you can actually modify from here. You, can, you don't have to go to the lock screen to make the change. You can do it right from here. The animations are also now more behaved. So, look at this. If I tap on Calculator, and if I pull it down, it goes right into its icon, okay? Previously, like we mentioned, it jumps all over the place and looks like it's pretty smooth. Feels a little bit smoother than the S21 beta, but still, it's, it, it can use some work. There's no question about that. They're definitely going to fix all this stuff because we already have perfect animations on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. All they have to do is implement that right here. But I'm liking that they're not jumping all over the place and they're more behaved more calm and more composed. Let's look at the folder animations. They're the same as always. Nice and smooth, no problem. Let's do one more. All right. And finally, I'm gonna go back here. Those were the top features, the biggest changes. But if I go to software update, last update, you can see we have a bunch of other things. Here's an important one. So if I go into my settings, go down to battery and device care, at the bottom, I now have auto optimization feature. Alrighty, this is gonna allow you to restart your phone when needed, when you're not using the phone automatically, so the phone keeps running properly. You can pause the video and read that description right here. And that's for that. But that's basically all there is to it. Uh, beyond that, like I said, you can pause and read uh, in the beginning of the video, the change log that we got with this. Bunch of bugs have been fixed. We're getting closer and closer to the final release, and I think it's gonna be a winner. This is the S22 Ultra. We have it on the S21, and most likely it will be coming to other phones very soon. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.